Hi, Jerry and Trip here, and we're here to answer, hello everybody, we're here to answer the question you've, a lot of you have asked, is how often can you give a dog a bath? Well, today we're down at the beach, Trip got a little bit dirty, as you can see, not too bad. Oh, there's a little kiss, thank you Trip, I'll put you down, thanks buddy. And he was playing in the ocean and running around with other dogs in the, in the salt and the sand, and for that, it's really easy, it's just kind of a dry brushing, we just let him... Sit out on the porch till he's dried off, give him a little brushing, and pretty well everything comes off. Now yesterday, we were hiking up in the mountains, and we found this nice kind of boggy swamp. And he got in there, and it got pretty stinky. Now dogs like stinky. They like to roll in dead things, they like to walk around in muddy swamps. The dirtier, the better for a dog. Unfortunately, well, for them, we're not dogs, so when they start to get a little ripe like that, we tend to um, take it to the next step, which is washing them off with a, you know just a hose or a bottle of water to get back into the car. And occasionally, like yesterday, when he was really dirty and really grubby, it was shower time, and uh, I can't say it's his favorite time of day, but it's got to be done. It, we, you know, we need to keep our house clean and, and, uh, and we don't want a smelly dog all, you know, running around on all the furniture and that sort of thing. So what we've done is uh, we have just have a little shower set up for him. And uh, my wife greets me on the outside of the shower with a couple of towels, get them all fluffed up. And it's really not so bad. But one of the things you have to watch out for when you're washing a dog is the shampoos, especially human shampoos, can take away the emollients and oils out of their skin and their fur, making them kind of itchy. And, uh, you know, it's like if you use too strong of a soap on you. So it's always best to use a gentle uh, pet soap. Uh, we go online. We get all our supplies from uh, uh, Petco, PetSmart, and Walmart. And we get them delivered so we don't even have to go to the mall, go shopping, dealing with all the customers down there, uh, all the crazy drivers. So we just order it online. And most of the stores have free delivery, especially if you're you know shopping for more than $50. And we all know how expensive pet stuff is. So we usually put in some food and maybe a chucket ball or, you know, whatever, is, whatever we need, whatever he needs, uh, or what we need to keep him occupied. And that's, so that's a whole lot cheaper than going into the store as a rule. It's very easy and efficient. We don't have to drive anywhere and it gets delivered for free to our door. Then we take it one step further. We found this amazing cashback site. And what that is, is every time you go shopping online, they send you money for shopping. It's kind of like... The biggest discount I've ever seen. Some of the stuff is up to 20%. Um, our pet supplies are generally around 9-10% uh, cash back. So they actually give you cash back into your account. Not coupons, not, you know, for the next time you go shopping, cash in your account. So you spend $100, you get $9 back. That is amazing and it really adds up over time. But we also use it for all our other shopping. You know, we just ordered some stuff from, uh, from Home Depot. We're building our shed and our deck, and we got, uh, I think, around 9% back for that. We just did an order at Walmart for some uh, linens and, uh, and a few pet supplies, and that's all being delivered free of charge, and we're getting the best deal that we could get, use some coupons online, and we're getting the cash back. If you want to see how easy it is, literally it takes two minutes, you can sign up for free, and start getting cash back right away. If you want to have a look at this, just go to getfreecashback.today. Get free cash back dot today. So I hope I was able to answer how often and the basic rule of thumb with your dog is when they need it. That's how often you should really be washing your dog. All right, this is Jerry signing off. Hope you have an awesome day. Check out that link and we'll see you on the inside. Cheers.